official. It's Bad official. Boys 3 is happening. Remember, knock and talk. Yeah. Knock, knock. <laughs> They ride together, they are willing to die together, they're bad boys for life, and they're coming for you. Built on the foundation of a rock steady relationship between two longtime friends, the high powered action film is heading to theaters soon. Here's everything you need to know before you go. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are back to reprise their roles as Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett, two police detectives in Miami, Florida. They began their relationship as wary partners in Bad Boys and deepened their brotherly friendship in Bad Boys 2. The first Bad Boys film was directed by Michael Bay and focused on police partners Mike and Marcus, narcotics officers with strikingly different personal styles. Mike is a fashionable and fancy free single fellow, while Marcus is a more conservative family man. After a ton of heroin is stolen from police headquarters, they are charged with recovering it from a French drug lord. But in order to do so, they end up switching identities to persuade a reluctant witness, played by Taya Leone, to help them. Mike and Marcus really do not get along, but the hilarious chemistry between Smith and Lawrence, combined with Bay's sense of kinetic action, made the film into a massive hit. Their dynamic is just hysterical. They can do something that seems so serious and say something that just has you cracking up. And arriving eight years later, the sequel finds Mike and Marcus assigned to lead a task force to capture a Cuban drug lord and halt a war that's broken out in the drug underworld. The two cops bicker constantly. Somebody shot you. And who be you? Me? I shot you? Yeah. It's like it hit the meat. It ain't nowhere near the whole. And tension between them is heightened when it's revealed that Mike has been dating Marcus's sister, Sid, played by Gabrielle Union. Marcus continues to want to spend more time with his family, but that all gets put on the back burner by the case, which becomes even more outlandish under the direction of Michael Bay. So where exactly does the story pick up in Bad Boys for Life? Sometimes you try to do it. You try to do a movie after 23 years. <laughs> Say, you 23, like, I'm gonna hit you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's shoot some wide shots. <laughs> Well, Marcus is now ready to settle down and retire from the police force, forcing Mike to team up with a new, younger team of officers to investigate a powerful drug dealer. But things do not go as planned, leaving Mike to beg Marcus to reconsider and return to his side for one last time. One last time? One last time. Proving that they are truly bad boys for life, the two longtime friends aim to bring down the powerful drug dealer Armando Armas, who is played by Jacob Scipio. Armando, who is the head of the drug cartel, is a cold-blooded killer who is motivated by revenge. The duo is seen attempting to take him down through a hail of bullets, fiery explosions, and multiple speeding vehicles. The new film also promises to deliver a deeper insight into the loyal friendship between Mike and Marcus. And while the third installment will be jam-packed with just as many clever and self-aware jokes as before, we fully anticipate that the action will also be turned up. Oh, this is my wife's car. Come to the front door. She knows. She always knows. Joe Pantoliano returns from the first two films as supervising officer Captain Howard. F me. And joining the franchise for the first time is Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, and Charles Melton. The trio will be a part of a highly specialized police unit who clash with Lawrence and Smith. Hey, boy. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do when we come in? Hey, hey, uh-uh, no, no. The cast will also include performances by Paula Nunez, Kate Del Castillo. Hola a todos, somos el elenco de Bad Boys for Life. Kate y yo estamos muy orgullosas de unirnos a esta increíble franquicia con Will y Martin. Well, whoa, I don't know no Spanish. It's gonna be in the prompter. All you're gonna have to do is just read it. Gracias, la reina. No, no, no. It's reinas. Reina. You have to use your epiglottis more like it. No, you can't use your epiglottis on TV. Come on, Will. Dos reinas. Why are you putting, you don't stick your neck out, you just say the line. Reina. Listen. No, sabes que parecen taladros, viejo. Nikki Jam and even DJ Khaled. While Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2 were directed by Michael Bay, this third installment will be directed by Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, best known for their work on the crime drama Black and FX series Snowfall. Working with them is, is like a dream come true, and they're also very professional. And you know, when you put them together, Martin and Will is just, you know, this chemistry, it's magic. So now you know, and now you can go see Bad Boys for Life in theaters January 17th.